Destination Canada 150 2017 marks Canada's 150th anniversary. How well do you know Canada? I have dedicated 100 days of my life to cycling from coast to coast and this video series is the result. I'm well within a week of uh, Winnipeg and after that it's not too far to the Ontario border so we'll see how that goes. Canada Highway, or more accurately, the Yellowhead. Well, I'm actually on the Yellowhead Highway right now. If you look behind me there, that's the way to Edmonton, but I'm going that way. Right now, that's the way to Yorkton, and then uh, later on into uh, Manitoba. I don't know how long I'm going to stay on it because it wasn't my idea to ride on the major highway, but right here, the traffic is actually light. The one thing that's concerning, of course, uh, like has been for the past five days, uh, is the weather. Saskatchewan weather in uh, late June this year, it totally sucks. So hopefully that'll turn better. Other than that, it's a great day, you know. And by the way, the weather is better than yesterday.
paid it like royalty at this little store in Theodore. But my day was not over yet. on the yellowhead. There's a sign there says uh, Winnipeg uh, 453 kilometers. I'm thinking that's four days. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm all stocked up on groceries. I'm, uh, I did my laundry in Yorkton. Updated my blog. So the only thing I got to worry about still is my tent. Uh, I had to pack it in this morning early. I was stealth camping and it was wet still but uh, there's two ways I can deal with that is uh, one is to stop somewhere along the way and unpack it uh, lay it over a picnic table and let it dry or I just stop early today and uh, you know get a paid uh, camping and set it up and you know before I crawl in there let it dry out a bit so we'll see see what happens I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, get to Manitoba today. Yeah, that was a kind of passing maneuver I don't appreciate because even though I'm on the shoulder, I'm still oncoming traffic. I realize that these big machines are uh, slow moving, but this guy could have definitely uh, waited because there isn't much traffic here and you know please when you see this tell your friends respect cyclists on the road I'm 
I'm telling you, you bicycle, bicycle touring, touring it's a tough, tough job. job. But if but it's, it's to catch, catch on, on, somebody's, somebody's going to have to do it. Do it. Maybe, Maybe you, you could be next. next. So I found a different kind of rest area here. It's really luxurious, actually. I can see a little lake. It's going to be a nice day, finally. Enjoying this now. I'm still on the Yellowhead Highway, still in Saskatchewan, but uh, I just noticed there's a train parked over there. I'm gonna, with my equipment here, I'm gonna check how long this train is, because I know that in Canada trains can be very long. So here I got now uh, 53.49 kilometers on my clicker, and let's see. I'm Yeah, it's at uh, 55.43, so it's just about 70 meters shy of two kilometers. That's one train.
them in uh, Langenberg. I might as well just pronounce it Langenburg. It's obviously uh, a German town. See, there's a Volkswagen right behind me. This uh, street that I'm at, which is actually the Yellowhead, but uh, they call it Kaiser William Avenue or street or whatever. And behind me, there's a huge red structure and that's a big swing, they call it Goliath. I'm only 15 kilometers away from the Manitoba border, an hour at the most, but probably less than that. When you get a coffee at uh, McDonald's, how long does it take you to finish it? See, I've done uh, 89 kilometers since uh, Yorkton, and this is cup number three. One was at 20 kilometers, one was at 75, I think, and now it's uh, 89. And I don't like pollution, but you know, people toss them out the window, and uh, they leave those little stickers on there. See, uh, see that? Well, I collect them because uh, when I get the card full, that's a free coffee. There you go. <laughs> province number four of my trip and this uh, yeah this also puts me into the central uh, time zone and it's Manitoba and this is the occasion you know I always check the total kilometers of my trip and the total distance is uh, 3386 kilometers uh, yeah that's quite a distance uh, since I left Tofino
Manitoba has hills. I just uh, got the honor of uh, coming down the first one. It was fun. I got up to 52 kilometers, but uh, you know, now I'm gonna pay the price. Look at that. Oh, it's getting easier now. Almost up on the hump here. Uh, anyone who calls this a uh, rolling hill hasn't uh, ridden it on a bike. It's supper time. I'm in Russell, Manitoba, and at the visitor center, uh, which was closed because it's Sunday evening, obviously. But uh, there was a sign there and the little map, and it said that this uh, peace park or something like that, uh, it's free camping. And uh, yeah, I rode my bicycle here and it looks like it's right where this uh, baseball field and all this stuff is. But there's a area here with trees in it and I think that's where I'm going to pitch my tent because it's uh, more protected from the elements. Yeah, and uh, I'm hungry. So yeah, I'm happy. The weather is getting better it looks like. Beautiful evening. It's not too hot. I mean, it's never too hot. Tomorrow, like, it's less than 400 kilometers uh, to Winnipeg. Probably about 370 right now. Three days. Uh, so what I just noticed is that my <laughs> my gallon of water <laughs> it's it's leaking. I have to buy a new one. I thought I could get away with using the same container the whole time, just keep refilling it, but. Uh, <laughs>
before leaving Russell, I decided to stop at the visitor center once more to pick up a map. Highway 45, uh, it was actually, after talking to the lady at the uh, visitor center, uh, it was uh, recommended here, but uh, as I'm finding out, there is no paved shoulder here and traffic isn't quite as light as I hoped. Uh, so yeah, I only have to go about maybe 50 kilometers on this and then um, I'm turning off and taking Highway 21, which connects me uh, back to the Yellowhead, where I can ride on the paved shoulder. I have my own space. It's much uh, safer than here. As you may have noticed, I have abandoned the Trans-Canada Trail ever since uh, the end of the uh, KVR in uh, British Columbia. It was too rough most of the time. It, uh, it was a constant worry about, you know, am I going to wreck my bike or uh, am I even going to get through here without having to uh, take the road and stuff and you know uh, I didn't go on the Iron Horse Trail in Alberta because I know it's not good for cycling. Now I'm on Highway 45 in Manitoba and I actually look at I found that this one uh, I found this but uh, then I'm shaking my head again because do I want to ride my bike on grass? No, it's not a good ride. You know, if this is the Trans Canada Trail, there should be a sign indicating so, so that people know that yes, this is it. But that's besides the point. The point is, I'm not riding my bike on no grass. <music> It's lunchtime. Uh, even though you can't see the flame, this is uh, working quite nicely. And you know what? I actually found the Trans Canada Trail. See, this is where it's at. See, you can barely read it, but it says Trans Canada Trail, Manitoba. Uh, you can barely read it, but I don't trust it. See over there, it turns into grass again, but it looks good going this way. This
Hey you, get your mice. I'm not after you. I'm at the intersection of uh, Highway 21 and 16 in Manitoba. I'm gonna hop on the Yellowhead again, go east. really just looking for a campsite but I received an offer to use someone's spare bedroom and couldn't refuse the next morning I was up early and I was clean due to a shower and fresh clothes however this wasn't going to last very long
Uh, they're not that great. It's that time again, lunchtime. I'm cooking oatmeal because the fuel I have left, it's just enough for that. And it's gonna be good. Warm meal anyways. I'm uh, at a rest area that's just between Nipawa and Portage La Prairie. And the weather is beautiful, the ride's been good and yeah, couldn't ask for a better day. Here's some information about the Yellowhead route. The name Yellowhead is traced back to an Iroquois trapper, Pierre Bostonnet, whose trace of European blood lent a light blonde tinge to his hair. <laughs> Makes perfect sense and uh, I always wondered about it, you know, why uh, why is it called the Yellowhead Highway? Interesting. How it starts in Winnipeg or you know, Prince Rupert, whichever. And it goes all across the western provinces. Today I'm doing about 14 to 15 percent of the speed limit. <laughs> Won't get a ticket. So it's a rough ride today because of the strong wind and it's mostly from ahead and from the side a little bit. So yeah, I could really use a break away from uh, stinking highway but there isn't anything available here huh. peanut energy but at least it's sunny I'm not getting rained on and I'm still happy
after a quick supper in town, I found the ideal spot for stealth camping, and I fell asleep really fast. If you like this video,